look at Ireland, the maximum discharge of energy from the Atlantic Ocean is on the west coast of Ireland and the west coast of Scotland. That's just a geographical fact. Harnessing that energy requires commercial development of the uh, devices. It requires ways of bringing that energy on so shore or utilizing it offshore. It requires understanding the maintenance of those devices. So there's a lot of work to go in to try and harness this energy. But in terms of a unique selling point, Ireland is in a great place. Right now, Ireland imports nearly all the energy it uses from elsewhere, and all of that is polluting fossil fuels. And yet here we are with this fantastically rich, clean energy resource. So if we can crack the technologies that allow us to harvest that resource, not only are we reducing our carbon impact, but we're making a major environmental and social contribution to Ireland by moving away from using other people's resources to exploiting our own. Smart Bay Ireland. We were established to manage and operate Ireland's marine test and demonstration facility, which is being installed in Galway Bay as we speak. And this is a key part of it, is the installation of the cable. So, we have different aspects. We're looking at a subsea cable observatory. Here on the Celtic Explorer, we're installing the power and data cable. So this is a cable that will run from the school in Spittle. It'll be, be, it'll be buried beneath the seabed and it'll end then at an underwater frame or node. This underwater frame will have ports or sockets for connecting various types of underwater sensors and equipment. The idea is to test and validate equipment, to look at the survivability, to look at the performance, to look at the reliability and the operability in a real marine world environment. We've never done this type of work before, so basically we had to rent all the cable A equipment from the UK, so we had to rent a large power pack, a cable engine that actually pushes the cable out over the stern of the boat, another piece of equipment there for loading the cable. We had to construct a lot of the equipment from scratch because we just couldn't find it in Ireland. So there's been about 30 people involved in making all this, putting all this equipment together and about two or three months of planning. The cable itself came from uh, the US, so that, that's been shipped, uh, been prepared over the last year or so. So there's been a lot of different people from different places coming together to put this together. The Marai involvement in the sea station project is to design and construct the, the floating sea station, which will then connect to the under, undersea cable. And uh, through this, we're able to have the same streams of data that we would normally get in the laboratory actually coming from the devices in Galway Bay and coming back to shore for the developers. This is the fourth day of the installation programme. At dawn this morning we were pulling cable off to the pier and sinking cable on the seabed for the shore landing and now we're standing off waiting as we finish off the shore landing and start laying away to complete the lay. You want to get up on the, the natural extension of this would be out into the Atlantic, out into the Porcupine Bight, and even further out than that. It's, it's remarkable how little we know about the deep ocean, about what happens and what the processes are in the deep ocean. We get little snapshots from ships like this, which go out and, and make some measurements and then come back again. But we have very little long-term information to understand how the oceans work, especially in this time of, of uh, potential climate change, when the largest source of, of, of heat capacity on the Earth is the ocean. So the, the place that, that it's felt we can detect and really measure any long-term climate change is by measuring temperature and, ch and effects within the ocean. new development at the site now is going to be the deployment of a hydrophone.
that deployment will allow us in real time to uh, listen into what is going on at that site. So not only can we monitor the biological activity of whales and dolphins at the site, but we'll also get information on noise. In Ireland um, and across the EU, noise is classified as a pollutant under the Marine Strategy Framework Directive. So we have to maintain favourable habitats for these species. Um, and that kind of access to um, new technology will allow us to um, aim towards that. This test and demonstration and ocean observation platform in Galway Bay uh, is a very important contribution by Ireland to a, a growing international field of real-time data capture within the ocean. Essentially, technology giving us eyes and ears within the ocean that we don't have at the moment. This will be Ireland's first major step into this continuous uh, observations in real-time in the ocean. In the recent days, in the last 24 hours, the programme has gone ahead of schedule. We've been blessed with the weather, overall very happy with it. Um, we're now into the fine-tuning phase, just making sure that all the connectors are working as, as they should be. And by the end of today, all being well, we should be finished.